I'm Sister Rita, a Franciscan sister of the Immaculate Conception, working in Kenya. My name is Sister Placida. I'm from, originally from Scotland, but working in Kenya. Um, Franciscan sister of the Immaculate Conception. Live with Hope Centre is a centre we have in Kenya. Mostly, I'm basically dealing with HIV AIDS and it has other branches. Um, Live with Hope Centre started officially in 2001 when we had when we visited. We saw there are a lot of people dying with HIV AIDS. Other branches that sprang up later include taking care of the alcoholics, uh, brothers and sisters living with problem with alcohol. We also take care of um, children living on streets, don't have home or anybody to get, take care of them. I'm personally very interested in this project because of my brother Bernard. He's 41 and he has been born with he was born with cerebral palsy and the the program started through um, the initiative of a few of our workers, Martin Ngugi and a few others. Um, they go to the communities and locate the disabled children who are normally uh, in the past they were put away and locked up in the houses and they, they were seen as a curse and those children were just left there to, to languish in poverty and misery. So this programme has really done great over the past few years. They've brought the children out for support groups. They call themselves the Little Angels support groups. And um, they go around, our staff go around, uh, trying to give them sweet talks and wee sessions on things like what is, what, what is disability and how to cope and uh, the value of every human life. So that the whole aim of the project is just to give the children a better chance at life. This year we've been so blessed that Miss Seal have managed to get us funding from the propagation of the faith. It's been wonderful, we're very grateful. I think um, we've got so many different projects going on and sometimes um, you see sad things, most times you see sad things, but when you see people coming through with the help that they're given and the joy in their, their lives, like example I'm going to give is the street boys, when they come from being on the street, neglected, um, not loved and taking glue, and addicted to the glue and then they get the rehabilitation, they get loved, they get taken back home trying to get their families to accept them back, then get them into school and you see them in their school uniform, that is just a, like giving you a million dollars. For me, the work we, we do has been challenging and the work that deals with humanity, whom we are as a person. But as I go on with this work, the joy I derive from what I do, I deal directly with HIV AIDS patients. It's seeing them, that patient who is very low, sometimes we get them from their home, their immunities are very low, they are just lying there the, with hopelessness, a lot of hopelessness. Then you see these patients from nowhere through the help of God and the drugs, they take, see them come up, go back to work again and be able to take care of them. You say, hallelujah, thank God. I'm happy, I feel fulfilled. I think it's very important to uh, support Missio because they've supported the children of Africa and other countries where they don't have their basic needs and they're really, really desperate for help. And it's our common family. We're all brothers and sisters. Those little ones over there are just as important to us as our own brothers and sisters because God's our Father and uh, we want to help them. I'm using this opportunity in a special way on behalf of our congregation, on behalf of the children of Africa, on behalf of our own self, to say thank you so much to Monsieur Scotland and all those who have contributed to help children to live better, especially in our projects with Little Angels. Thank you. <laughs>